Hi, my name is Satan, and today this sexy little Islamic scholar is going to talk to us about how to correctly draw a accurate and respectful portrait of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. So pencils at the ready, and let's get started. I saw a man of striking appearance. Striking appearance. Hmm. Radiant face. Yeah, radiant face. Beautifully created. Yeah, beautifully created. Oh, he's gonna be so cute. Ooh. His belly wasn't protruding. Oh, shit. Make it all flat, I guess. Mm. Nor was his head disproportionate and small. Oh, fuck it. Make his head a bit bigger like that. Proportionate and delicate, finely made, a specimen of a creation. Uh, a specimen of a creation? How the fuck is that supposed to help me? In his eyes there was a contrast. The dark was immensely dark. The white was excessively white. Now that's better. Okay, so really, really dark in the middle. And really, really white on the outside. Mm. And his eyelashes were long. Long eyelashes? Mm -hmm. And his neck was elegantly long. Oh, fuck. Make his neck a bit longer. His beard was full and thick. Mm, I like it nice and bushy. Oof. His eyebrows were arced. Like, um, like they. But they were not joint. It was separated. Oh, for fuck's sake! So, that one there, and that one there. From afar, the most striking and outstanding in appearance. All right, so he's like a Monet. He looks all sexy from a distance, but when you get up close, you be thinking, what the fuck? And when he came near, the best of them and the most handsome of them in closeness. Oh my god, so what? He's hot from far away. He's hot when he's right up close in your face. I am starting to see why this guy has got 1.6 billion followers. He was medium in height. Your eye didn't have to strain to look up at him, nor was it tedious to look down at him. He was a comfortable sight to look at. Uh... What the fuck? So let's imagine you got some tall ass motherfucker and he's looking directly at Mohammed right in the eye, but he don't have to strain to look down. And next to him, you got some little midget bitch and he's looking at Mohammed directly in the eye, but he don't have to strain to look up. Hmm. The only way that makes any kind of sense is if we move Mohammed away Move him away, right into the distance. Keep on moving him away until he's standing on the fucking horizon. This is Muhammad Rasulullah. This is Muhammad Rasulullah. Well, I guess it might be, but I can't tell because he's standing so fucking far away. Anas ibn Malik says, he says, I came out one night, uh, I came out one night that was the full moon night. So it was a full moon, so whoop the fucking do. He says, I came out at a full moon night and I looked at the, at the moon and I saw it, beautiful, handsome. So I said, let me go see if the moon is more handsome or my prophet is more handsome. Let me see if that is more beautiful or the prophet is more beautiful. So I went and I saw him standing afar. I know he's standing afar. He's on the fucking horizon. So I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and he said, Wallahi, he was more handsome than the moon in its entirety. What? 
he was more handsome than a big fucking dusty rock with craters all over it. That is just the look of your Rasul. Ah, oh, well, thank you so much. That is so fucking helpful. Aisha radiallahu anha says, I was sewing with the needle. My needle dropped in the dark. I couldn't find it. I said, Ya Rasul, I can't find it. He moved his face close, and I swear, bout of the radiance of his face, I found my needle. Oh, come on. What? He's got a fucking glow in the dark face? And. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was mind-bogglingly handsome. Hmm, I have to admit, he certainly sounds like a real cutie bomb. What with his big-ass ostrich neck and his perfectly proportioned, delicate head that glows in the fucking dark. Amr ibn al-As says, I sat with him many times, but if you ask me to describe his face, I can't describe it. Oh, Jesus Christ! So, in conclusion, I think we have achieved a very accurate representation. Fuck's sake. Well, I, 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 I like to draw my hammer.